Ilu, and today we are going to do a passive practice with the swing. So place it below the knee as pretty much as slow as you can and let's find the floor. Sitting in a comfortable position with the swing in front. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders back and down, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale by the mouth. Let's just take a couple of breaths to bring ourselves, our spirit to this present moment. Relax the shoulders down. Allow the tensions of the body to go away. You can open your eyes and bring in your palms together. Place it on the swing and fall forward. So the hands goes forward, the chest goes forward and down. Keeping the sitting bones on the mat. You can move a little bit side to side. Come back to the center and keep projecting your hands forward to land the spine, to, la to land the side of the body. Pressing through your hands, the swing, round your back and slowly unroll yourself up. Extending the legs in front. Toes towards to you. Bring the palms together and we go one more time. Forward with your hands. Down with your chest, wherever you arrive, you can use these hands to hold you a little bit up if it's needed, now keep going forward. And you can move a little bit side to side. Now relax your feet, allow your hips to relax and move, swinging one side to another. And come back up, rolling vertebra for vertebra up. Now bring in the right foot on the belt, actually the right ankle. Pull the belt towards to you, land the spine, and you're gonna stay here. And you can bring it a bit higher and pass your arms on it. The left toes are towards to your body. So now we keep activating this leg. One more breath. And relax the left leg. Maybe the toes falls on the side. And release the right leg. Let's go with the left leg on the belt. Place the ankle. Pull the belt towards to you. Land the spine. Stay here. Or bring it a little bit higher and place one hand and then the other one. And release. Open the legs, bring the bumps together and forward. It's always the option to move a little bit side to side. We start with the toes toward us, activating a bit the legs. If you choose this, the option of swinging, every time you go forward, think about, about projecting your hands a bit more towards the front. And then you move to the side and maybe lifting the chest a bit up to get a bit of momentum and then go forward again, forward, forward and up. Feel free to stay in the center and just working through your breath as well. Now we can relax the legs.
pressing through the hands. Look at your navel from your spine and unroll yourself vertebra per vertebra up. Bringing the hands under your knees, recline a little bit back and just help yourself to come back with your legs to center. You can shake it and come on the knees. The bell goes behind, 10 centimeters under the armpit approximately, and we sit on the heels. Feel the tension already, the belt holding your back, and extend the right leg in front. Now we drop the hips down so the left heel goes out, and we're gonna stay here. The hands interlock the fingers behind, and go to the diagonal. If you want to feel a bit more deep this pose, think about drawing the navel in, rotating the hips. Now bringing more weight onto your right hip, make a space to release the left leg. Bring the weight to the left hip, bend the right knee, and sit again. One more time if you want to feel a bit more deep. Draw your navel in. So you can feel how your hips maybe rotate a little bit. And releasing your hands, bring it to the swing. Pull yourself up just to bring both knees on the mat. Hands facing towards your face. Elbows align with your shoulders. Navel is in, shoulders away from the ears. And let's pull up to lift the hips. And to allow the chest to go more parallel to the ceiling. Keeping the knees aligned with your hips, squeeze a little bit your glutes. Shoulders go away from your ears. And slowly down. You can go very slow with your head until you come back up. Okay. Removing the bell. Now, Come on your, your hips on top of your knees and bring the right foot on the belt. So the instep of the foot, it will be on the belt. Hands in front and bring the left instep on the belt. Reach with one hand back and lift your chest up. Pass the arm behind, keeping the knees together. Same as before, hands facing back. Elbows align with your shoulders, pull yourself up to lend the spine, to bring the chest more parallel to the ceiling, hips remain on top of your knees, and maybe drop your head back or keep it looking in front. If you are like me and you feel dizzy with the head back, just keep it here. Keep drawing that navel in and up. We want to create an extension of the back. It's not collapsing the vertebra. And sit on your heels. Release your arms down. Let's stay for a moment here. Close your eyes, draw your navel in, find that neutral spine again. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale by your mouth. Open the eyes, release your arms, bring it in front and release your feet from the belt. Sit, bring the belt in front, extend your legs, bend the right knee. 
We can release the belt for the swing for a moment. The right hand behind, the left arm up. Let's find a twist. The left toes are facing towards to you. Inhale, lend the spine. Exhale and follow your right shoulder going back to hug the right knee or maybe to block it with your left arm. We have two actions happening here. One is the right hand on the back lifting me up. And the other one is the left arm either hugging the leg or blocking as me, helping me to follow the right shoulder to twist. And release, go back. Extending the right leg. Flexing the left one, bring the left hand back close to your lower back. Uh, right hand up and find your twist. The right toes are activated towards to your body and find these two actions. Lend the spine, this left hand is helping me to lend the spine and the right arm is helping me to go a bit deeper or to stay on my twist. And come back slowly, bringing your feet together, bringing the elbows on the belt, shoulders distance apart, on the swing, I'm sorry, keep saying belt. Inhale, toes towards to you, exhale, go forward. Whatever you arrive, maybe you go a bit deeper and down or you stay here with your head up. Now bringing the hands together, keep traveling forward. And then roll yourself up. Bring the belt, the swing behind. Place it same as before around 10 centimeters from your armpits at the tip of your scapula, or we can say at the bra line. Feel the tension so the belt is holding you. The legs go in front, sole of the feet together. Interlock the fingers behind your head. Elbows comes together, like if they want to touch each other, but don't worry, it won't happen. We have the face in between, the head in between. Draw your navel in and up, open the chest, shoulders goes down and allow the chest to go up parallel to the ceiling. The head is resting on your hands and your knees become heavy to help your hips to open up. If your body is inviting you for some movement here, you can go from one side to the other one. One more breath. Helping your head to come up with your hands. Release your arms so you're free from the swing. Bring your knees together. Place your hands behind and you can just move it side to side for a little bit. Extending your leg, start to find the final pose, Shavasana. Reclining back. Press your shoulders down, palms up. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale by the mouth. Close your eyes. And stay here as long as you need. 
If you struggle to stay in this present moment in Shavasana, you will find on the top of this video a guided Shavasana for five minutes. Otherwise, thank you very much for coming to practice with me and have a beautiful day. Namaste.